Hey guys, so we have the December boxy charm to open up, see what we got. Happy Hanukkah. It's the something -ith day of Hanukkah because I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. Oh, look at that. It's a sponge. Oh my God. There's a little container to put the sponge in so it can dry. Oh, that's nice. This is the original makeup eraser, the sponge. Ooh, I can't uh, the it. first ever machine washable sponge. Oh, you put it in the thing to wash it. Well, wouldn't makeup get all over everything then? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you put it in the dishwasher? I don't yeah. know. All right, the first ever machine washable sponge, specially formulated by the original makeup eraser. It features the same unique wash tech technology to erase makeup out of your sponge simply by machine washing. It's like a downy ball. That's really cute. It feels really sturdy, like. Yeah, that's not going to open. No, that's pretty cool. So. And I'm probably not going to be. Mm, yep, I got it. That's awesome. You're supposed to screw that on and might have broken it. Hold on, look at me real quick. Yeah, you would wear those. Eyelashes. Ooh. All right, so we have. I don't know. That was a dramatic pause. Um, what is that made? Who's that? Glamnetic. Glamnetic Bella lashes, and black liquid magnetic liner. Don't know how I feel about that. There's the liner. There are the lashes. That is quite a thick band. That's quite the lash too. That's really thick. Man, I like them though. Big old scripper lashes. Yeah. Um. So that that's the and then there's this the liquid magnetic eyeliner. What does the liquid magnetic mean? So these are magnetic lashes. So you put the eyeliner on first and then you put the lashes on top. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use this just because I have really expensive eyes at this point with all of the eye surgeries I've had. So maybe putting like. You think magnetic metal, maybe putting little flakes of metal right next to my very expensive eyes might not be the best move there. No, oh, you can give them away, somebody. Yeah. All right, Bella is a medium wispy flashed or flared lash that gives a classy and beautiful winged eye effect made from high quality, 100% vegan synthetic fibers. The Glamnetic Magnetic Eyeliner is the magic that holds your favorite Glamnetic lashes in place all day. The innovative formula is highly pigmented, requires minimal waiting time, and provides all day hold. I wonder if it says anywhere that it's ophthalmologist approved because I couldn't imagine any ophthalmologist being like, yeah, sick, put that on your eyes. Put those magnetics Yeah, on. slap that puppy on. All right, next we have the Elemis. Am I saying that right? That sounds good. Sure, we'll go, we'll go with that. The Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Reveal a soft, lit-from-within glow with this illuminating pre- prebiotic moisturizer oh, the lightweight multi-use formula leaves skin hydrated while blurring the look of imperfections i have a lot of them so it can also be used as a primer underneath makeup or applied as a highlighter to enhance skin's radiance oh that's really is it shimmery it looks really shimmery let me let me see let me let me look at you eh, it's a little you got a little shimmer in there I don't know about that. I'm an oily skinned lady, so that's You're such an oily, oily lady. <laughs> Alright, here you are. You have the Viseart. Viseart seamless eye primer. This seamless eye primer works with all eyeshadows to ensure crease free and vibrant wear. Is there color to it? Is there color? No. To it? It's clear. It feels kinda liquidy, not gonna lie. Don't know why I'm smelling it, but this is a really expensive company, and I'm pretty excited to see like how this actually works. If it's actually worth the money. Yeah. So it feels silicone-y. All right. Last but not least, we have the iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette, an ultra versatile face palette featuring six shades of butter smooth, velvety powders that complement all skin tones. This convenient palette contains shades for sculpting and bronzing to add natural looking warmth and definition, blush shades that lift the face and give you that must have lit from within glow, and highlight shades for a flattering candlelit radiance. So, yeah. there are no names on these. They're just colors. And if you can help me pop Are they all matte? Or are some of them shimmery? Uh, looks like you got 
looks like you got two mats here, here and here, and then the other four are shimmery, but they're not all like shimmer shimmer. If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna do a little plop 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 plop. I'm gonna run out of fingers. Is it pig? Is it pigmented? Not really. It doesn't seem very like from all the other stuff you've done. It does not seem very pigmented. All right. It helped. <laughs> I ran out of fingers. Yeah. Look at the fallout, though. Yeah, there's a lot. It's very shimmery. And you can barely see it on camera yeah. either. That is bad. And it's not even so much the camera as no. it is just like it's well i mean you can barely see it uh in person in person that's not that's mm. i showcased it right above my obligatory russian tattoo mm. but ugh, i don't i do not want to deal with don't wipe that on my pants i don't want to deal with shimmer like this it doesn't uh, seem very good it's there's not a lot of color payoff so I'm kind of really disappointed. Needs makeup wipes. I need a makeup wipe. I need one too. We can share. Marriage. It's I don't have a lot of use for a face palette like that because I'm not gonna use most of the colors here. The blushes, like, these are cute, but they're shimmery. But it seems and it seems it seems like you would have to use a lot of them. Yeah. A lot. Uh, you. It seems like you would have to use a lot, a lot of it, to get any type of. Because you're used to like the, the stuff that I've bought you, the Jeffree Star stuff, the James Charles stuff. It's super pigmented. And like I have a Cover Effects palette that someone had gifted me because they got it in a box that they weren't really going to use, and that stuff is pigmented and a little goes a long way. But then also I don't use every shade in the palette. I can't justify, you know, if I would have bought, I, I would never have bought this because I can't justify like, oh, I'll use that as an eyeshadow when I have like how many eyeshadow palettes. This eyeliner is not coming off with this makeup wipe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Warning. that's pretty surprising. Like I'm really, I have to scrub it to get it off. I don't think I want this on my eyes. Um, For but people like, who worry about it fading throughout yeah. the day. This might be the it's, stuff. It's not that. going anywhere. But like, I'm not gonna buy an entire face palette to not use every shade. I don't work as a working makeup artist anymore. One because of pandemic. Uh, two because of um, it. Even if you were, you would you never use your own makeup on customers. No, but I don't. Pre-pandemic, that I was don't your see role. ever even using this on a client. Because who wants, you know, a lot of people don't want a shimmery bl a blush. They want a matte blush, you know, unless it's for like a photo shoot or something, which like I, I don't really participate in. Oh, I don't what? see how we would use that. And I just kind of feel bad. Like it's a bit of a need, waste. I think we need to do more photo shoots. I think that's what it is. But that's it. All right. So what so, did you think overall? I like the sponge the most. I think I think the sponge is very cool because it allows you to wash it, and it's a um, really neat texture. It feels kind of rubbery. I use the Real Techniques one all the time, and it's a definitely a different texture. I'm really excited to see like how crazy big it gets when you wet it because with the other sponges they're like. <laughs> I feel like the eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use it. I'll give it a shot. It feels like. I don't know. It felt really silicone-y, like that slippy, I'm not going to dry down and be like a good solid mm -hmm. base. Um, but I, again, I thought that about the Pretty Vulgar one and I completely, like I used that one so much. The eyelashes and the eyeliner, I'm probably not going to use that because I don't want to risk any further damage to my eyes that are already very damaged. So Probably gift that to somebody. Yeah. And like the, the primer highlighter thing moisturizer whatever it is i need to use moisturizer with spf that does not seem like it has spf and i i don't have the time 
nor the the will to do things in the morning like layer 9000 products i just it's early <laughs> i work in healthcare i'm tired i'm just a tired lady but yeah that was the boxy charm did you guys get any variants in your box have you tried any of the things that i unbox what do you think about full face palettes let me know your thoughts what was that <laughs> Me. The palette seemed very underwhelming. I was really hoping it was going to be an eyeshadow palette because we got the eyeshadow primer. That would but, make sense. Yeah. So, that's all right. I'll try it out. I'll see what, you know, there's not a lot I can do with the stuff that we got, so I don't know how much of a review it would be anyways. So... You can leave reviews in the comments. Yeah, I'll pin a comment. If I tried anything, I'll let you know how it went. And if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. <laughs> <laughs> There's I, a lot of cat videos. I taught her some TikTok stuff. I like TikTok a whole lot. I don't want to admit how many hours I spend wasting my life away scrolling on TikTok. With the office playing in the background. <laughs> yes. I do love the <laughs> office. Um, leave a comment about any of these products if you've tried them did they flop what eyeshadow palette are you super psyched about right now let me know like the video if you did like the video or you could like the video if you also have expensive eyes or an expensive body part maybe a prosthetic let me know here or, comes a cat hello or a doofy little cat or a doofy hand. little cat come here so i forgot <laughs> my sign out stuff but i hope everyone is having a wonderful december and I hope that you have happy holidays no matter what you celebrate. And we will see you next year in the new year. Say goodbye, Dobby. Uh, Just come up here to slap me. Where are you? Grab the kitty. Dobby. Is this already open? Where have you even been doing? Getting cats. Come here. Oh, you're a liquid. Dobby. All right, audio test. Oh, he's a cute baby. Ooh, <laughs> get that out right away. <laughs>